Yeah, and like the thing is, like I have to go in every day knowing that I'm head to head with Bookie. Like, there, there's very few things that are more motivating right. to want to be good because I know how good what he does is. So it's like, so, so how, how come if Bookie's so good and we all love Bookie and no one has a bad word to say about Bookie, why does the station part part ways with Bookie? But I. I I, mean, I know. I, can't know I, that. I don't even know why I'm asking. You. How, would you, how the hell would you know? <laughs> but yeah, like I don't know. But it, it, it sometimes it just comes down literally to like we get a new boss, any station gets a new boss, and they just have the people that they want and the people that don't fit what they want the station to be, and that's you know. And luckily, I haven't been one of those people to this point. But eventually, well, I you're will still be. young. When you're old like Bookie, maybe it changes. I don't know. Bookie's, <laughs> don't know. Bookie's young in his soul. He's, no, man. you're right. You're right. Yeah. No, he sounds young because yeah. he knows his new music and he's passionate about the freaking music. And that's what he's makes him a great best. DJ. Yeah. You know, he's like our last link to those those great days. And but, the uh, best interviewer ever. Like, I genuinely feel like every time I do an interview, I'm just somehow you're channeling your inner Bookie. I'm doing a cheap imitation of Bookie. Like, I, he is the best interviewer ever. <laughs> 